What's up everybody? My name is Ryan and on Entirely Honest, I hope to improve your life by sharing the ways that I improve mine. And in this video, I'm going to review and share my personal experience with a book that has helped me a lot when it comes to anxiety. The book is called How to Stop Worrying and Start Living by Dale Carnegie and is a fantastic resource when it comes to understanding the psychology of anxiety and it also provides really good practical recommendations for how to overcome worry and live a more relaxed life. I'm going to start out by sharing what I found to be the most practical and useful advice from the book and then I'll go into some other topics that the book talks about that I liked as well. So let's get right into it. The first useful and practical recommendation that I got from this book involves a simple three-step anti-worry technique that I've used very often in my own life and have found it to be really beneficial. The book calls this the magic formula for solving worry situations and it goes like this. The first step is to ask yourself, what is the worst that can possibly happen if I can't solve this problem? The second step is to prepare yourself mentally to accept the worst if necessary. And the third step is to try to calmly improve upon the worst, which you've already agreed to accept. This technique usually helps me realize that the worst case scenario is not as bad as I thought, and it's more the fear of the worst case scenario that worries me. So when I use this technique to confront the worst case scenario and accept it as if it's already happened, that fear goes away and my worrying is drastically reduced. But even though this technique helps me to feel better about whatever it is I'm worried about, it doesn't necessarily lead to a solution. And that's where this next strategy comes in. I use this next strategy, which is also from this book, to come up with a solution to whatever the problem or situation is that I'm worried about. And the first step in that strategy is to understand the problem. You want to be able to clearly and simply state what the problem is. A quote that I really liked from the book was, a problem well stated is a problem half solved. The second step is to figure out the cause of the problem. Defining the cause will not only help you better understand the problem itself, but it will also help prevent that same problem from happening again in the future. The third step is to brainstorm all possible solutions to that problem. And the fourth and final step is to decide on the best solution and immediately take the first action required to implement that solution. Taking action is really important because working towards a solution is going to make you feel better and more in control of whatever the situation is. So I have applied these two strategies in my personal life and I found them to be the most useful and practical advice that's given in this book. I keep the strategies and their steps in my digital notes so I can refer to them whenever I am worried about something. And if you wanted to do the same, they're listed down in the description below. But there's also a lot of other great ideas listed throughout this book. And so right now I'm going to share some of my favorite ones so you can get a better feel for what this book is about. So one thing that I really like that this book talks about is the importance of health. They actually say that health is the most important thing. And I really agree with that. And I really liked how in the book they also talked about the benefits of exercise and its effects on worry. So they, they, I think they made a quote saying that like exercise is the antidote to worry. And there's a lot of science to back this up as well. There's a lot of psychological benefits that come from exercise. And I definitely experienced this in my own life as well. Just this past week, I started running again. And since I've been doing that cardio exercise, I've really noticed the mental benefits that have come with it. This book also talks about this concept of living in day-tight compartments. And that essentially just means like focusing on the present and blocking out the past and the future. And they see this as like a, another strategy of reducing worry because usually when you're worrying, it's either about the past or the future. And by focusing on the present, you're able to kind of like eliminate that worry. 
And it doesn't mean that like you don't have like a long-term plan or, or future goals, but the idea is that you're going to more effectively achieve that plan or work towards those goals by focusing on what you need to get done on that specific day instead of always thinking about like the whole plan or the, the whole large goals. Instead, you can focus on the small tasks that you can do right in the present moment to help you get there over the course of days or weeks or months. So another really important topic that this book discusses is the importance of talking with others. So they explain how talking with somebody that you trust can be really beneficial when you're worried about something. So that could be like a close friend, a family member that you're comfortable with, or even like a psychological professional, like, like a therapist. So the last idea that they talk about in the book that I wanted to discuss has to do with time. So they talk about how worrying and being anxious about the problems in your life can take up a lot of time and really like drain you of energy. And so they suggest that instead of worrying about the problems, you're focusing your attention on the problems or the things that you're worried about. Instead, try to use the strategies in this book to come up with solutions. And once you do that for all your worries, you might end up not having any worries at all. So that's about all I have to say when it comes to the contents of this book. I did just want to make one other point, and it's that I really like having a physical copy of this book. I've been listening to a lot of audiobooks recently, and although they're really good, there are some books that are just really valuable to have a physical copy of. And I think this book makes like a great book to have on your bookshelf, and a book that I often reference, especially if I'm going through a really anxious period in time. And the book is divided up really well into different parts and chapters, so it's not like you have to read the whole thing every time you reference it. You can just go to whatever part feels most applicable to yourself and reference that. So yeah, I definitely recommend getting the physical copy of this book. And if you want to do that, the link will be the first one in the description. So I really hope you enjoyed this book review. If you're interested in some other self-improvement reviews on this channel, I did review two other books. The first was Alan Carr's Easy Way to Stop Smoking. So this was the book that I used to help myself quit smoking. It's absolutely fantastic. And then the other book review I did was another book by Dale Carnegie, which is How to Win Friends and Influence People. And this book is all about communication. And in my opinion, it's one of the best self-improvement books that you can read. So I'll include the links to those book reviews down in the description below as well. So that's it for this video. I really hope it helped make your life better. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your thoughts and questions down in the comments below. I love hearing from you all. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon so you get notified every week when I upload. Thanks again, and have a great day. Peace! Thank mm -hmm. you.